Professor Black Ops. You see it. Let's get it. Brightline data breach impacts 783,000 pediatric mental health patients. Basically, those are kids' mental records, right? Which, which is a shame. You would think some uh, data would be off limits. But shout out to the hacker group. We're going to get into it. They actually deleted that data and said they didn't realize it was kids' uh, mental health records. So shout out to the bad guys. They did some a little correct. So once again, let's read this article. Pediatric medical health provider Brightline is warning patients that it suffered a data breach affecting pretty much 780,000 people after ransomware gang stole data using a zero day vulnerability in its Fortray Go Anywhere MFT secure file sharing platform. <laughs> we know Go Anywhere got a lot of companies hacked this year. So, Mental, Mental Line is a mental health and behavioral health provider offering virtual counseling for teenagers, children, and their families. In a new data security notice displayed on the company's website, Brightline confirmed that the data was stolen from its Go Anywhere MFT service that contained protected health information. PHI, right? That's that HIPAA and high trust data. These were these attacks were conducted by a CLOP ransomware gang who utilizes a zero day vulnerability track CVE 2023 0669 allegedly steal data from 130 companies. That's the 130 companies they know about, right? According to Fortis, the last update on this investigation, the threat actors began leveraging this vulnerability on January 18, 2023. Brightline was listed on CLOP's extortion portal, March 2016, 2023, indicating that the health startup was among firms that ransomware actors breached in their larger scale attack. The company internal investigation revealed data stolen by CLOP. Ransomware gang included the following personal information. First names, I'm sorry, full name, physical address, date of birth, member identification number, health plan coverage, and employer names. The notice clarified that the Aetna member ID have not been compromised due to the incident. As soon as we became aware of the incident, we took immediate action to investigate by confirming Fortis deactivated the unauthorized user's credentials, turn off the service, rebuilt our version with the no longer vulnerable uh, code. Further, we implemented additional security measures, including limiting ongoing access to verify users, removing all of our data from the service, continue ongoing measures to reduce data exposure until an alternate file transfer solution is identified and implemented. Brightline extends a partnership with healthcare institutes and companies in the United States has resulted in the security incident impacting many en entities. These include well-known organizations such as Diageo, uh, Nintendo, Harvard University, Stanford University, and Wild Boston Children's Hospital. That's one of the big hospitals. The complete list of impacted ent entities can be found here. Data published today on the breach portal of the United States Department of Health and Hospitals. Service indicate the incident was has impacted 783,606 people. However, many increases are has internal investigation progress. Brightline only submitted eight individual entries on the on the government portal, presumably corresponding to eight affected entities. But his website lists as more significant numbers impact the organization. Brian, Brightline offers all impact individuals two years of complimentary identification, th uh, theft, and credit monitoring by Cyber Scout. But here's the update. After the publication of this article, Clock Ransomware Operations emailed Bleeping Computers to say they deleted Brightline's data from their data leak site. We deleted all the data. We did not know the company is doing because it's not all companies are analyzing. And we ask for forgiveness for the incident. Clop email uh, bleeping computers. While we have no way to determine if they're actually deleted out of the data in their possession, bleeping computers can confirm byline is no longer listing it on the gang's data leak site. So once again, <laughs> shout out to the bad guys for doing something right. Brightline data breach impacted 780,000 pediatric mental health patients, which are kids' mental health records. 
Clop ransomware group said they deleted that information. They're not they're not about that kid life. So shout out to the bad guys trying to do something right. Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.